unfortunately what happens is that there is a thinning or shrinkage of the hair follicle. Usually related to hormones. So hormone, especially testosterone, women have testosterone in them, but uh, if you have a lot more testosterone than is normal, this is typically what happens. Unfortunately, what happens is that there is a thinning or shrinkage of the hair follicle. So if you look at this here, this is a general hair follicle. So what happens is, first of all, the hair is in the growth phase for a shorter time. And then when it comes to, when it's shed and a new hair comes in its place, it's usually shorter. The hair follicle is smaller. You see here, it's further away from the blood supply than it was before. And the hair comes thinner. It's more finer than it was before. So there's actually a decrease in the diameter of your hair as well. And then every time you lose hair, it comes back a lot thinner. And it stays in the growth cycle a lot less. You know, generally a growth cycle or a growth phase lasts between two to eight years. Um, for people who have this condition, depending on their hormone level, it can be faster. It could be maybe six months or some a few months. And you start shedding hair and the new hair that comes, it's thinner, it's finer. And then um, every time it goes to a cycle, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Eventually you might lose all of that. But the good thing is, unlike men, you don't lose your hairline. So you still have that forehead. In a lot of men, you know, you, you when they lose hair, they lose the hairline. So they have a bigger forehead. That usually doesn't happen so much with women. It's mostly in the middle uh, where you start seeing the part and it just gets a little bigger and bigger. So one of the risk factors for this uh, is severe stress, whether it's emotional or physical. And if you have hormone imbalance, it's probably also... Um, it's a mix of both. When you have hormone imbalance, you have emotional stress and physical inflammation in your body. Smoking um, also is a culprit. So if you are smoking, uh, if you stop smoking, this should help a little bit. And higher testosterone levels, also one of the main ones. This is typically for girls and women who have polycystic ovarian syndrome. Not many people realize that polycystic ovarian syndrome has is linked very tightly with insulin and insulin resistance, which means that even people who have diabetes or pre-diabetes have similar issues, similar hair problems, and people who have hypertension or high blood pressure also have that. And um, I'm not, I haven't done too much research on this, but I found one of the, one article that looked at longer sleep duration and shows that people who sleep longer, maybe more than eight hours or something, might have this issue.